So you're saying that like not only is the pool much deeper, but like their average skill is just yeah, like especially in Cali. Ah, uh, that would be, yeah, that would be fucked. Actually. I got owned by this mask called Al at a local, and then at saving Mr. Lombardi. Amazing player. He's like super turbo Decker. He's like Decker oh, across with yeah. Spud, but no one's ever heard of him because he's just another random Cali player. That's fucking epic, actually. I like ask Sora about it. He did some very custom things against Sora as well. Okay. He's just like some guy. Just some guy. Um, I was like wondering, just in general, like how your bracket went, because like I didn't see you on. Oh, uh, in at Genesis, all. I lost to Muticking and then I lost to Suck My Son. <laughs> a great, a great run. <laughs> Fuck America, man. That's bullshit. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. All right. Hi. In hi. America's defense, Suck did beat Franz, which is an upset. I did see that, actually. In Suck's the good, man. Suck really wants it. He's got that gamer hunger. That's what you need. He's young and hungry. The, the two ingredients that make up the gamer. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. And we got Kaiser. Playing against Davox. Both players, legends in their own right of the South Australian scene. Um, let me just try and find the scene here. Yo, Jack, what are my buttons? What's going on? How do I, what are my buttons? Uh, the mouse is down here, that helps. But what are my buttons for changing the screen? What are you trying to do? What you got? What am I? Oh, they're Fs now. So, oh. so that's your... Those two, and then I think f five. So yeah, those ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Devox. I had one of the worst conversations of my life with Devox today. He just kept talking. He just kept coming. <laughs> it was like a bad Uber driver. That I was just trapped uh, in, just in like a friendly setup with. <laughs> <laughs> what was he talking about? Just crap. Just never ending. Just asking me about every meal that I ate in America. Like, how was the food there? Oh, I just had a lot of fast food. Tell me about it, Nick. <laughs> it's like, just like, it's different there, isn't it? Like, 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 get on with it. <laughs> while he's like, what do you mean you haven't cheek? explained this already? Yeah. But it's all right. I took, him on a, I, I took him on like a journey through my trip. Uh, all the way from the beginning to about two days after the beginning. But that was like half an hour conversation, you know? Because oh, Davox is like a, he's a researcher. He's a deep delver into people. Sounds about right. Um, Those aren't glasses, they're actually little magnifying glasses. But really digging deep into people's uh, into psyches. Trip. How was the trip? You Brad, you don't know. Brad, shut the fuck up, Brad. I am more equipped for any humor than you'll ever know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just got totally owned by Devox trolling because I just don't understand. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Brad. 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 Oh, Brad. Fucking Brad over here. Brad. Oh, yeah. uh, we didn't. We Okay. Let me tell you about Stinky Plane Experience. You don't want me to tell you, but XB2K well, does. But yeah, I. I was. Uh, like, I know what happened, but I don't know how it happened. So, it's, like, I don't know how. Like, if you were in the airport for two days, I don't know if you got a text and it's like, oh, I guess we're going to the Lombardi. Uh, no, we, we waited at the airport for like five hours and then they were like, they booked us a flight for the next day and I was like, you know what, I am going to just yell at the Qantas guy until they get us free flights for the next Sunday. And then they weren't free, they were like $30 each, but that's still uh, pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Like, you definitely like 30 yeah. bucks for another weekend in SoCal, like that's... Brad, I could spend five minutes with anyone that you know deeply and I would know them better than you. All right. <laughs> All right, they're going into a wizard, actually. Hit the thingies. And Kai doing a good angle, but not reacting to Davox's choice, and yet getting back anyway. This is the the yeah, Yomi like, of South Australian melee. So many layers of like slightly wrong play. And then yeah, I was about to say, like, what's Davin grabbing at the edge for? Surely you just like jab or nair or down smash or anything. That far. Because he saw him go high, it's like, oh, free Falco. Yep, absolutely. But that's not how it went. Yeah, he should have F-tilted and then we just killed. But yeah, exactly. That's life. Flora hits this. And I, I don't get the grab near the edge nearly as often as I should for how many bad grabs I do. Or is it very ice cream cone? Yes or no? Yeah. I mean, like, it's not as good as a variety of other flavors of ice cream is a problem. Like, it's probably good. Yeah. Like, you go into 48 flavors, you 
you barely look at him. It's a B tier ice cream yeah. flavor. Boysenberry? Ugh. You know what? N. <laughs> Looks like an online check chase if I've ever seen one from Davin. It's like, misses the run, just decides, eh, to hell with it. Throws the needles. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a Flurets classic. I would be surprised if he studied Flurets mods. I would be very surprised if he was looking at my mods. And Davox. Davox said to me today, he's not a melee player anymore. He plays Dota. So not to expect much from him, and he's not going to provide good practice. So take it with a grain of sand. But, um... <laughs> but that might be why he got side B spikes just there against Kai's. I mean, I guess, but like... He's definitely been to like every, damn near every melee mate he's been to. Like, we've put on in SA since he's been here. Yeah, like, people like the John. If you're gonna if you're gonna John, do it right and just actually don't show up like me. Yeah, that, that is the best way. You can't be accused of anything. You can make up whatever you want, and it's like, well, he's not, he's not here. Like, how do we argue yeah, with him about exactly. it? Exactly. I'm not here. I don't have net play. I did get some practice in America though, but uh, not as much as Sub did. Yeah, I heard he went to like multiple hour Uber trips to like. Sock just goes ham. He loves uh, gaming. He's doing the wobble strats, lose early to get the maximum amount of sets it. Oh, double dips. And Davos looking a bit stressed, dare I say it. Looking like he shouldn't have played as much Dota. Shout out to SSBM Cookbook in the chat. One of the great personalities of the Australian scene. Someone who, I'm not ashamed to say, I miss his uh, involvement all year, apart from Bam. I, was, yeah, I, I, I feel like I'd really like Cookbook a lot more if Wobbling was Bam. You know, I feel like he's, he has a lot to offer, but he just I think makes Ice my... Climbers as a character is so much more interesting without Wobbling, but like, you're not gonna, like, until you ban it, Ice Climbers players aren't gonna do anything but Wobble. Why would you not? It's like yeah. asking like Mute King to not chain grab people on FD, it's like it's he's gonna do it. He's gonna ask him it. nicely, it's, he's gonna do it until you ban it. Exactly. Ban Mute King. Exactly. Have have banned domestic fives, which which indirectly bans chain grabbing. And uh ban wobbling. I, it bans it for like ninety percent, but you know. That ten percent was S Fat's like, no, I can beat him on FD, I'll just ban something else and then it's like, oh god, here we go. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if, if, some, if, some if people are gonna learn it, the hard way, man. <laughs> if you don't ban it, then you deserve it. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. You don't have to think about it as well. You can just be like, oh, I ban FD. It's you know what, Cookbook? That's the sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> but not that we don't love seeing you in Australia, or in the chat, especially in the chat. You can't wobble me from New Zealand. So really love seeing you in the not chat. Not without net play, <laughs> <you> can't. <laughs> I feel like we've missed like five minutes of them just running at each other and hitting buttons. Yeah. Like it just feels like we've been talking and a lot of sounds have been happening. It's the a lot of bing, bong, needle sound. Uh, yeah, laser sound. Yeah. And for what? You know? Yeah, one one game. What's that uh, That monologue about like all you know, the life of the stage? I don't know, man. <laughs> you, you know what I mean. You know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, what's the point at the end of the day? You know. I'm just going to get thrown off stage uh, by a big man that can't do the upbeat thing. Exactly. Oh, it's like all, all like, you know, noise and whatever, signifying nothing. That's, that's this game. Signifying nothing. And that's what Davin's trying to do to Kai right now. He's trying to signify uh, nothing. You can press <laughs> all the buttons in the world, but then we don't mean it. Exactly. Oh, he oh, turned around and then he bared him. Yeah. That's the unnecessary fancy shit that... Getting him back for that double dip in the first game, I would say. All went down there, but... Is this five? I guess so. I don't know what the fucking rules are. Well... My uh, my argument to that cookbook is that it doesn't matter at all because it's just a game. So Ben wobbling at all times. If you think melee matters in the grand scheme, I mean, think about how big the universe is, bro. Think about how insignificant your life is. All right, wobbling doesn't matter. 
Tell him, Jack. Yeah, like, really doesn't. <laughs> it's only game. Exactly. It's just the game. I don't know why you'd be mad. And Kai, uh, very practiced FD Falco. Yeah, like... Uh, I checked my commentator notes, and it's from yeah. 2015, and he practices on the stage a lot. He used to almost exclusively practice on FD for whatever reason. It was almost like he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to get my combo game going on the flat stage, and then we'll figure out platforms later. Which but is yet, good. Well, it's good until, you know, we realize that five out of the other six stages have the platform. Like, it's good to, like... Like, long-term, very good, but at the time, I was just like, bro, you got to be able to, like, do something when you get a shine at zero. This kid is a, a Street Fighter kind of guy. Yeah. He's a, he's a Street Fighter hipster, a fighting game hipster. Yeah, he definitely hasn't played anything from the last 10 years competitively. Definitely still on third strike. I mean, he played Street Fighter 4. Yeah. Uh, like, that, that's not from the last 10 years anymore. That's yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ultra is from like 2011. Though. Imagine being boomers. <laughs> All of us boomers. You're a boomer, I'm a boomer. Yeah. You must be nearly uh, 27 now, right? You must uh, be 26. Yeah, I said nearly 27. I know okay, you're yeah, like yeah. slightly younger than me because I went to your 21st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the only thing I remember about your 21st is uh, the bus ride home and feeling unbelievably ill. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. I was like, I woke up, I was like, I feel fine. To the drop ghost home, and then it was like it all hit me. I'm like, oh yeah, alcohol poisoning. That's that a was thing. a lot of free alcohol there. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. the only way to do it. Again. I don't think we we have a different definition of matter, but you know. <laughs> and that looks clutching. Yeah, like he was definitely down two, but it's like, or is he throwing? Oh, Kai goes for a dashy and. Oh, oh yeah. gets his jump back. Goes to ledge. The margins yeah. with Sheik are so wide. You can get away with a lot of. Uh, oh, yeah. Slight misplays. Why do you think I play the character? Exactly. And it's like, I got no hands, so I'm just gonna press the character that could stick out a leg and cover like a million things. Yep. And it's like, oh, I get to land and grab if I fuck that up? Cool. What do you think? The different music's gonna help him here? Is that the, like, final boss theme? You know, sorry, Kukwuk. So, like, to answer your question, what I think does matter is human happiness, you know, on a, on a grand scale. Uh, whereas I don't think individual matches matter, you know? Universe is uh, vast. What, what else is there, really, that matters other than human happiness at the end of the day? I feel like it would be exhausting to be like the source of great sadness in a, in a whole community of people. <laughs> and sometimes I have been. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Kai really needs to close those out. I gotta do TO. TO, okay. Jack leaving me. But it's okay. I can slowly come to date. And I have the chat with me. Uh, press 1 in the chat if you think Davin is gonna win. Press 2 in the chat if you think it's going to be a draw. And press 3 in the chat if you think Kaiser is going to win. See, a lot of twos here. Uh, <laughs> and Kaiser with a good lead, uh, trying to even it up. Uh, the prophecy of it being a draw is looking a little more likely the longer we play. How do I feel about Jack leaving me? You know, if you love something, let it go. Um, and maybe one day it'll come back to you. That's always been my philosophy. And I'm, you know, I'm still waiting, but um, you never know. Oh, and Kai trying to play footsies. But the thing about melee is it's all about neutral. It's about waiting for a mistake. It's inevitable, and then punishing it, and then not getting reversal. And Kai getting a little reversal, reversaling back, just reversal city right now. Oh, just absolutely one hit combos, one after the other. What will I do if he doesn't come back? Um, I don't know. Live, live, continue living my life. Uh, he's doing 
same thing every day, stick to my routines, but always a part of me will be missing and it'll feel a bit empty. But, um, you know, you gotta keep going. And Davos, trying to bring it back with a tech chase. Goes for a down smash and Kai crouching. Very shrewd choice of direction to hold. Big stage control for Kaiser and uh, big auto cancel back end. Oh, Kaiser doesn't have a Nez and is punished for it. That's uh, that's that's kind of uh, miss that you don't have when you can spend four hundred dollars on a controller. Sora actually dual wielding Nezes these days. He's got like a backup Nez. It's insane. F smash kicks. And we've got a tie game. Alright. So Davin's counter pick. And uh, for some We got Muscat, the coward. Um didn't, didn't show up for the tournament, but he's here to watch hey, everyone I else play. I had real life stuff. Oh yeah. I know. I, I yeah. No, you don't, you, don't, you don't feel it? I don't really... Yeah, whatever. Real life. Look, what is real at the end of the day? You know what I mean? I've, I've been hearing Jack was talking about your philosophical conversation with Cookbook. Yeah, what, is it, what does it all mean? What, what, yeah, what? Cookbook seems to think that certain matches matter and others don't. Man. The majors matter and ban wobbling at locals or something. You know? That seems... That seems pretty wack, to be honest. Like... That does seem whack. It seems very like, whack I feel, to me. I feel like you just either have a, like, ban on it all, or just... You ban or you don't. I agree with half of what you just said. Okay, well... <laughs> that, that's... And we got game five. And Kai with an early lead. Bad recovery, but Davin does not punish it. And he's still making it back. You gotta close those age guards out, but Davin doesn't take too much damage for those mistakes. 34%, not bad, not great either. Sorry, did you have something to say, Musket? No, I'm, I'm, I'll let you do the um, play by play. It's not play by play, bro. I'm describing the, the meta game of it, you know, the outside meta of the game game. Look, what I'm it all sure means for both players. Two people don't any, without any um, picture, without any have sound, will appreciate it. Yeah, they will. And they, you know, the thing about, I was thinking about Davin and how he has a lot of pride tied up in this game, you know? He, sure he, he seems like a really humble kind of guy, but he's always, he's always jonning a little bit. He's always got some kind of, you know, I play Dota now, I'm, you know, he's got a, a facade of uh, ironic detachment. Look, he doesn't want you to get to see the real Davin, you know? And I think Kai, if he wins, he might actually put a dent in the real, real uh, Davin, you know? There's, there's so much ego wrapped up in these tournaments. They're, we're playing for PR spots that might be here in a few months' time. Who knows? Yeah. The thing about Kai, though, is you always see the real Kai, for better or for worse. You see the real thing, you know? He wears his heart on his sleeve. You have to appreciate that. you got to respect that. Mm. <laughs> Hello, XV. I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Ho hopefully you're enjoying this wonderful stream. Kai might be the realest guy in Australian Smash. I'm trying to think of a realer guy and I literally cannot. Maybe like arguably me, but apart from that I just really can't see anyone who I think is realer than, uh, than Kai. You know what? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're also a man who wears your heart on your sleeve. Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes. I'm wearing it in my, in my rib cage. Oh, yeah. Look, everywhere. My heart cannot be stopped. And here we are, last stop. And speaking of hearts, both players' hearts oh, are going to be beating right now in this last stop battle. And Kai throws Davin off stage. Davin with a bad double jump, but uh, Kai a little bit tentative with the edge guard. Oh, he's got the grab. This is big market. Oh, big tries to cover options. Only covers one option, though. Who's going to win? The Falco down air or the Sheik up air? Oh, he's no jump. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to shield drop laser. He should have done a PC drop. I mean, uh, what's it called? You know, Isaiah drop. That's the one. Oh, that's he's it. He's dead. Isn't and Davin, the clutchest player in Australia. Maybe. He is. Right Look, now he is. You know, you can say part of it's Sheik, part of it's just himself. No, I, I wouldn't say that. No, you wouldn't? No. No? Okay. No, I would say it's just... Uh, just him? Skill. Just skill. 
All right, whoa. And Kais, with a smile on his face, with a heart on his sleeve and a smile on his face and a dream in his in the glimmer in his eye, you might say. You got to smile or you're going to cry. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, you got to, yep. You got you to put a smile on your dial. Yes. Otherwise, you just might uh, become depressed. We wouldn't want that. You would not want that. I'm going to play Jack and Good see luck. if I can make Jack become depressed. Look, probably. <laughs> 